Hi there, Tana. I'm Shadow Scythe, and today we're going to be getting fashion forward with two more items out of uh, Tenogen what Round 9. When we take a look at I'll my Equinox sporting the Insomnia the skin designed and by uh, Prozetizen, and the Naru Sandana designed by Malayu and Jadi. However, before we break it down into my actual color scheme, as always, we will be running a mission. And what better mission to do than an Ayatan hunt? Now, this is tech actually take three for this video, just because of the fact that, uh, whenever I was interrupted during the recording of it the first time, and then the second time around, the audio quality was, went to complete shit. Hey, did you- Hey! Welcome to my cell! Looking for I- <laughs> That's the spirit! So, Let's what go. we are gonna be doing is running through this with the old mic since I actually managed to fix it temporarily. It's not so much that the mic was actually the issue with this head with the headset or with my old headset the problem was is that the microphone like the wire was all fine but the microphone actually broke practically right at the joint so i actually have like a binder Maybe clip and some super map. glue Time holding it in work. place at least until i can actually uh replace it although i do like I do like the Insomnia skin because it's not giving me the uh, issue that I was getting with my uh, colors with the default skin, where I would show up like most, I'd show up technically in night form, but I'd be like half night, half day still for the uh, for like a general consensus. There's no doubt and I didn't know the Sandana did that. It springs up during a bullet yeah, jump, but it actually sits down system. like uh, the Sari Sandana. Let's get some uh, piece of provocation going. And yeah, and this skin is just fucking gorgeous. over to day form and I'm actually liking this skin a lot more because let me get into the light because the colors are a little more defined and it's not just like oh hey this version is like all one color with nothing of the other and vice versa you can clearly see the white and black mixing Plus, the armor that I have equipped kind of helps as well. Oh, it broke those. Sweet. Oh, wow. It broke that one too. This looks dangerous. Uh, awesome. For me. I mean, I, I mean, you're All right. fine. Promise. I'm gonna switch back over to day just because, or night, just because night is actually my favorite form for Equinox. Got it. You found it. That's what we came here for. Your job's done. Oh. No, J. 
Jeffrey. Alright, let's get the fuck out of Dodge. But yeah, this skin is actually just gorgeous. And I'm really liking that Sandana over the one I was originally using. Because I was originally using another Tenno Gen 1 on Equinox. Which, it was the one that had, like, the five focus schools on it. I, I'm i drawing a blank for the name. Anyway. Equipment, arsenal. Here we go. Now. Here are the actual colors. Uh, primary color being white from, or the brightest white from either the uh, Oricon palette or the Smoke palette. And I guess any of the, I guess either one of the whites from the uh, red, white, and, or either one of these two whites from the red, white, and blue palette would work as well. The secondary color being black out of the Smoke color palette. You can easily find a duplicate for this via the, um, Uh, no. Uh, the closest duplicates would probably be this color here out of the Storm Color palette. This, this brown out of the Valentine Color palette. There is a duplicate in the Fire Color palette. I just don't have the fire. And then you could also use like this blue out of the Navy. Those are like the closest things you'll get to black if you don't have it. <laughs> the tertiary color is actually this purple out of the Lotus color palette. Which, it's not too bright, not too dark, it's actually kind of subtle. And I should really be doing this with better lighting, but I'll try to rotate it just so that you guys can see it. And then the accents and energy are actually this purple from the Twilight color palette. Now, as far as the... Uh, uh, sorry if you guys heard that. That was the clip. I need to take those stupid... Uh, watch them, the stupid tab things off, because that cold metal feels a weird touch in my neck. Anyway... Um... Now the attachments, it's pretty much the same deal for the colors, copy them and then change the accent color to this color out of the Storm color palette because that gives you the rose gold metallic look that I've been using, which it actually has a lot of nice metallic de the Nario Sandana has a lot of nice metallic details in it. And also, if you guys are a big fan of the Nabrus wings for the uh, Warframe shoulders, then this Sandana will be right up your alley, because I, I honestly think that the creators had the uh, Nabrus wings in mind when they made this, because it's, it's almost an identical style, with some obvious changes due to the fact that it's a Sandana and not shoulder plates. Then, as far as regular armor, I'm just using the the completed Nadina set for uh, shoulders because it actually kind of fit form fits perfectly where that curve kind of goes right in between the arm and the loop, and then they just contour perfectly on the legs as well, covering that front part and not having anything to interfere with those rings. The only the only like actual clipping issue is this extra piece up here that it's kind of just there. It's like the polar opposite of the Dendara which has an extra thing on this leg. I don't, I don't know what the D's thing is with having like the random ass extra piece with certain leg armor, but it's kind of comical in some cases and others. It kind of fits the aesthetic.
anyway, here is the full rundown. Like, obviously, right now you are seeing the combined form. Actually, let me... There we go. We'll do that so that you can actually get a better look. Appearance, metamorphosis. There's the day form. And I really like the way that helmet looks in day form. Especially in, like, the low and lit areas like this, just because those those of you who are, like, massive edgelords, the, Equinox is the perfect way to take my uh, usual color scheme and turn it from something that's usually very bright and very open and actually make it something a little dark and edgy. Day for... The way that I have Equinox color, Dayform is like the perfect uh, edge lord personification of my color scheme. Then we'll go to Nightform, which is more of like the pure angelic vibe that I try to uh, pass off. Other than the bat ear slash horn things going on, which are still cool as shit. But thank you guys for tuning in. I'm, like I said in the last video, I'm really sorry about the way that the videos turned out since I had to kind of put an axe on them and then redo them and re-upload them off of the usual rotation, which is also why the stream that I was originally planning on doing today is more than likely not going to happen. However, I will be streaming tomorrow, however, tomorrow's going to be a little bit special, because instead of me doing PC Warframe, I'm actually going to be playing on one of my console alternate accounts for the PS4. So you guys are going to see just how bad I can play, just how badly I play this game with a controller if you guys decide to tune in. So with that said and done, if you guys like this video for whatever reason, hit that like button and subscribe. If not, then check out some of the other stuff on my channel. I'm sure there will be something there that you guys may or may not enjoy. Hopefully there's something you guys actually will enjoy. Now if there's, uh, be sure to follow me on Twitter or player.me to stay up to date with any and all things related to, uh, Twitch, IRL, uh, YouTube, anything that could cause any sort of delay or cancellation with, uh, with anything that I had just mentioned. Also, if I seem a little out of it, I'm sorry, I am incredibly tired because I did not get a uh, very good, uh, good amount of sleep at all yesterday. Where the fuck is my cat? Where the fuck is my cat at? Ordis has been counting stars, operator. All accounted for. Okay. Well. There you are. Um. And then if you guys would like to support the channel in any, any way, shape, or form, be sure to check out the game with Splink in the description box below. Any support that you guys give is greatly appreciated, however it is not required. So again, thank you guys for all of the continued support that you've given me through over the these past... God, what's it been, like 10 months now? The, f the fact that you guys keep showing up and keep leaving the feedback that you do good or bad it the good just gives me courage to keep going the bad just helps me find what i screwed up with and uh improve upon it for next time unless you guys are like trash talk basically bashing on me for my own personal opinion because just because i don't don't like something doesn't mean it's not good there are plenty of weapons in the game that 
90% of the community absolutely loves that I honestly think it's a piece of shit because I just don't like it. But I prefer, like, bow and arrow. So I prefer something that along those lines, with the exception of the Daiku, because I just hate the fact that you have to wait for the full draw in order to shoot. That's the only part about the Daiku that I hate. And then I absolutely hate the lens, just because if I can run a max armor, max health, max shield, max power strength Rhino with iron skin up and fucking kill myself with a single shot, no. Anyway, I, I kind of got way off topic right there, so until next time, Tenno, stick to the shadows.